Hi there guys and welcome to another Lossless video featuring me Squirrel and this is a little bit of a renewed video because as you already know I covered Quinn in patch 5.23 but some things change with uh, some of the ruins, masteries especially and some items so I decided to give an updated version of how I, I like to play Quinn in the jungle so we're going to start off with the ruins and as you can see on screen it's not the Lee Sin slash Quinn jungle page. Yes, Quinn has her own page. We have 9 AD marks, 9 armor seals, 9 magic resist glyphs, and 3 attack speed quintessences. It's essentially a basic AD carry page, to put it one way. So, I decided to go with attack speed more because it, it helps a lot, a lot more with the added clear and the fact she is pretty much an AD carry rather than the added AD like in my last video. So, that's the slight change so far we've, we've done there. And then we go on to the masteries. Again, it's still Lee Sin slash Quinn. Um, I'll actually page something because I believe this will work because I'm probably going to use Rengar on this page as well at some point. I believe these ruins will work well for all three junglers. And the main reason for that is now, if you remember correctly, I believe we, we went 1812 with Fervor of Battle Keystone. Well, they added in the new assassin mastery, as you can see um, here in the cunning tree beside biscuits. So that's, something, that's the new thing that I've taken. They've also buffed precision which is the one above the Keystone Mastery, and then they also buffed Thunderlord's Decree. Well, I don't know why, it was really strong beforehand and now it's that little bit more stronger, so we've gone 12 18 0 with the Thunderlord's Decree Keystone just because it's so so strong. With the, Like Quinn's meant to be an assassin, right? The entire point now is like, you're an assassin, so you can pretty much like 1v1 majority of people in the map with this, especially with Thunderlord's Decree you're gonna do so much damage it's gonna be unbelievable so ruins and masteries nice done quick simple very very easy and we're gonna move on to the skill order and then the item build and of course the lovely jungle route see you then and now we're here with the skill order I like to take on Quinn so if you've watched the previous video you're really gonna know roughly what Quinn's abilities are but as you'll see from the three images that will come on screen which will show her passive her Q her W her E and um, both bits of her are so feel free to pause the video when each image appears on screen so you can get a good look at what the abilities do how they scale with each level with the range the cost and the cooldown but for jungle quinn i start with q because it do it'll do the most damage plus it does the quote unquote blind effect which allows quinn to jungle really really well it also applies the passive which makes it even better then A again it will apply the passive it also does damage because W only gives vision so it's really useless to take it until you hit level 3 so Q level 1, E level 2, W level 3 pretty standard stuff and again you can pause the video and check all the images when they appear on screen and now with the item build part of the video as per usual we start with Hunter's Machete and 3 health potions because even though we've potion got a tiny buff I still think having 3 health potions is far far more valuable but don't forget you do need you should pick up the hunter's potion when you have a free 400 gold and you have part of your jungle item which you buy for 700 gold so that's that out of the way but yeah we're going to go for a tracker's knife damage because again Quinn's ID damage is always good the tracker's knife gives you 2 free wards so you can get a sweeper so please please do that your first major item should be your jungle item but after that I like to go static shave it gives um, Quinn that little bit of like attack speed plus the nice passive that static shift gives because it's always good to have like one damage item and then an attack speed item because it works really really well ideally if you want to get two attack speed items you can go ghost blade as well because ghost blade with the active is really really well because Quinn's an AD carry most AD carries now go like a BF sword item and then they go double attack speed because last whisper is not really needed as much as unless the enemy team builds a lot of tanks so you're going to probably want to go tracker's knife damage then static shiv then ghost blade if you wish if not you can always get essence reaver as your third item because essence reaver on quinn is i like it i think it's really good so again that's if you want to go double attack speed you can if you don't, if you want to go static then you can go essence reaver also really well then it's pretty standard really you've got last whisper you've got two different kinds one for if you come across people like mundo volleyball the gravest words is always great if not just get the standard one, Lord Lord Dominic's one. Again, it's standard because you need to get that if you have a lot of people with armor on the other team. If not, 
then you can go Bloodthirst, there's Bloodthirster and there's Infinity Edge and then if there's a lot of AP in the other team, a very good item to always get is Ma or Ma Mortius because that nice little Hexranker shield against APs can sometimes save your butt, so again, pretty useful. For a final build, you're probably sort of looking at, you've got your Tracker's Knife Damage, Static Shiv, Essence Reaver, say Ghost Blade, your Boots, which are obviously Berserker Screaves, so there's five, and then for your sixth item, it could be purely up to you. I personally like to have Lifesteal, so I will probably usually always stick a Bloodthirster in there somewhere, and then for example, I usually sometimes don't run both attack speed, I'll get one, then have a room for a Bloodthirster plus the Last Whisper if it's needed. Obviously, on screen you can see all the items that I've stuck in that you can get. Obviously, use your brain a tiny bit, and if they have a lot of armor, please do get a Last, last Whisper. If they don't, then there's really no need to buy it, but down to personal preference. But those are the items I like to get on Quinn, depending on the situation that I am in during the game. So now we shall get into the lovely jungle route and you'll see f lovely lovely footage on screen that I managed to capture of Jungle Queen. And welcome to the jungle route part of this video and you'll see lovely lovely footage on the screen, much better than the crappy image. So as Jungle Queen, you're going to see I've got the Q scaled already and you're going to see me start at Gromp. Because it seems, the it seems it's pretty standard enough to go start at Gromp and then work our way over to Blue Buff and then I'll go from Blue Buff to red buff, so by level 3 I'll have all my abilities, got both buffs and I'll be able to make a gank. And in the footage that you'll see coming up you will see that I you know, so do gromp, blue, red, then you'll see me make a gank mid lane, we get a kill mid lane for first blood, then you'll see me get the crab between top and mid, and then you'll see me go top lane to make another gank to get another kill. So that's pretty, that, for like, if you ever want to wonder, like, when do I gank, should I gank after one buff, two buffs, especially if you're gonna, especially if you're playing Quinn, as long as you pay good attention to the map, as you see I do some, throughout my footage, I like to check how my lanes are getting on as I cross parts of the map, I think that's really, really important. So, again, cross, I'll be crossing from blue to red, I'll have a look at my lanes, get red buff, then see who, who I could gank. This time around it turned out to be mid first, so I was able to go mid, and then I was also actually able to go top because top was still really really pushed, and we just, I was able to get my team a massive lead, so that's how the jungle route goes on Quinn, and I shall s let you enjoy the rest of the footage. But again guys, thank you very much for watching the video, don't forget to like, favourite, subscribe if you enjoy it, and I shall see you all next time.